Okay, so I'm back. It's about like 1.30 in the morning, and I decided that it would be a great idea to make a video. I've done a lot of work since the last video, and I think you guys are going to want to see this. So, get ready, because here comes episode 6. My friends, this is what has become of my plot. I have done so much work off camera. I've been meaning to make a video, but I just... Oh, so much has been going on. Like, I got those beacons at the very beginning, probably off camera, and I just just now put those in, and I have, like, speed, haste, jump boost, resistance, all that. Uh, over here, I got the little... I started making shops. So, yeah, I've got these three. I'm probably going to put a cooked meat shop in there. And over here, I've got my wool shop for people who don't have donor ranks. It's just a little bit more expensive than warp donor. But i got to make a profit somehow, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see. Let's come over here. Okay. So, I'm the owner, and the co-owner is my neighbor over there, Sparky. Uh... Her name uh, in the game is Psychotic Spark, and uh, so, yeah, so she sort of half owns this place, but I'm the main owner, so yeah. Anyway, I've probably, hmm, I had way more signatures on my other plot if you watched my other th uh, series. You probably saw the signatures, I don't have that many now, uh, so... Yeah, those are gone, but my prices are fantastic. I've got 60 mil for uh, diamond block and 70 mil for emerald block, which is way better than what uh, what I had before. Uh, donation shop. I've actually had one person uh, donate 500 mil. As you can see over here, it was Sparky. Uh, I've got extra tools in here, not many of them, just a couple reset picks and stuff. Wait, is that three? No, it's only two. Put that over there. And, uh, yeah. Some random crap. And some dirt. Unsold blocks, building materials. Oops. Kits and stuff. All that. And up here. I'm not really sure what I'm going to have up here. I'm actually really confused as to what I'm going to do with all the space, but I've also got to finish that. Uh, that's a random pumpkin. But this episode is not only me talking about my plot and showing you around. I'm going to be, guess what? I'm going to be building again. As you've probably already noticed, in my inventory I have three melon seeds, eight carrots, and eight seeds. An iron hoe, and two water buckets. What does that mean? Yes, we're building a farm today. But not a farm as in the outside. I'm building one of those secret underground ones because people will steal your crops. And that's not cool. But the whole reason why I was up here was to get some wool so I could decorate as well as uh, build down there. I like doing the building and decorating at the same time just because everything falls together at the same time if I do. So I'll stick this here. And this will be sort of the general design for the whole underground farm thing. I've got a lot of space to work with because I haven't done anything underground yet. So this should be a pretty cool... Uh, why am I digging like that? There we go. should be a pretty cool uh, build. I'm going to try to make everything completely symmetrical because I can't stand when stuff isn't symmetrical. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I guess it just looks better to me. As you've probably noticed from my former videos, I have recently discovered the uh, the time lapse uh, super speed video function in my uh, video editor. So I've been using that a lot, and I think it'll be necessary to use it again in this one. 
unless I can dig this stuff out without losing my train of thought or boring you guys to death first. Whichever comes first. Okay, so I'm not really sure how long this room is going to be. If it's going to have to be like an abnormal shape. Mm, this looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I'll make it a little bit longer though, just because. Gotta have room for other stuff. I don't know. I usually make the room and do what I think I'm going to do with it first, and then afterwards it kind of turns into something better or something more useful. How did that happen? How did that happen? How did that happen? No. I have to fix that. Ooh. You guys hear that? I don't know, but that was some creepy Minecraft. I don't know. Dungeon noises, I guess. But there aren't any dungeons in this prison server. Ooh, spooky. Okay, so this should be good. And guess what? Uh, I'm almost out of blocks. Because uh, I'm going to be using these uh, spruce wood things, the logs, probably as some kind of support strut. So I'll take like every three blocks. I'll do that. Because it's one, two, three. I didn't just place a random block there for fun. Like that. Then it'll look all symmetrical and everyone will be happy. And if you like asymmetrical stuff, cool for you. You see, there it goes. My train of thought completely deserted me. It's completely gone now. Ah, oh, well, so did my wool stash and my spruce wood planks. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna finish these up so I can get some more. Okay, finish that. Mm, I'll just yeah, I'll make these into planks and finish up. Ah, oh, man, one more. This makes me sad. This makes me very sad. Now I gotta go upstairs and get some more. This is not cool. Man, I have a chest full of building materials. And actually, oh man, I'm running low. Hmm. <laughs> okay, actually I'm going to put these back. And I'm going to throw some dirt into my chest. And I'm going to go get some materials, and I will be right back. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back, and look what I got. Four stacks of spruce wood, three, uh, four stacks, sorry. Four stacks of spruce wood planks, and two stacks of wool, because I've been running low on all those things. And consequently, they're the same things that my house is made out of. So if I ever wanted to make any repairs or build more on the house, I'd have to go get some more anyway. So why not grab a stack, put it in there, stick some of this in here. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. And go back downstairs. I really got to fix something. I always got that drop right there. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Oh, is this gonna work out? Oh, dude, that's gonna work out awesome. Oh man. Okay, let me dig this out one more. Oh man, this will be perfect. It'll work out amazing. Cause this one right here. That's where I'll put my uh, logs. And look, it's the same places over there. And I go one, two, three blocks in the middle. Stick that there. Put the log up. 
Well, that doesn't look too shabby, does it? Nah. Now I'm gonna put it the right way. Anyway, that's gonna go like that. This is gonna go like a so. And then, bam, everything works out perfectly and it's symmetrical and oh my goodness, it worked. Man, things like this really work out that well. At least for me. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you very much. You know, there are upsides and downsides to having shovels like this. The downside, if you're not careful, you could destroy something or you didn't mean to destroy, which I've done before. You know, when you're destroying walls like this, when you're trying to fill it in and make it good, you hit it one wrong time, oh, crap, now you just destroyed like half the wall. Or half that space of wall. You gotta be careful. It's a good thing these have block lag, because otherwise a lot of these blocks would be gone right now. So I've got to single click all the time, just really fast. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes I could just hold down the mouse and then let it destroy the wall that I want to. And it works out great. Speaking of working out great, check me out. I did it. Weird Ops. Why, hello there, Weird Ops. How are you today? Beat the music is coming in. Dude, he's cool. He checked out my channel. Someone knows who I am. When he told me that earlier, boy, was I proud of myself. You have no idea. I was so happy someone had actually watched my videos. You know, you guys watching my videos, it means a ton. And I know... It seems cheesy or, or, uh, I can't think of the word. Cheesy or cliche, but I'm just saying it. You guys are the best. You guys make it worthwhile for me to make videos. I've been saying this over and over again, but even though you guys are small in numbers, you guys will hopefully grow one day into a huge fan base. And I will have people who love me. More people. I have friends, I promise. I got friends. Jeez. Ah. Anyway. That goopy stuff out of the way. That's a cool looking design, isn't it? And I'll put... Ah, that's not what I meant to do. See what I mean? I'm gonna put glowstone in these... in the middle of these would-be nine block uh, holes. Like so. And it's gonna look awesome! Now I just gotta get... well... What should I do for the ceiling? I have 4.9 bill. I'll do, um, that look good? That looks awesome. I'll keep that. Hold on. Yeah, voting's been down for a while. If you haven't been playing for a while, or if you haven't played at all, uh, you'll get on and it'll tell you to vote, but voting's been broken. It doesn't give you any items or anything. Nope, not those. Dang. This texture pack makes block of quartz and wool so hard to teleport. 
by the way, this texture pack is uh, Boxcraft Reloaded. And man, it's my favorite pack. I love this thing. I don't know what it is about it. It's just, mm, I love how it looks. Uh, I should probably get the glowstone while I'm up here. 11 will definitely be enough. Okay. Now I think that'll be good. Okay. Let's go down here real quick. Stick those in there. Get some more cobblestone. Right, no, that's not cobblestone. Hold on. Put some more wool in there. Ah, sorry, that's not cobblestone at all. Uh, I don't know why I thought of cobblestone. Hmm. Oh well. Gotta get rid of some more dirt. Oh wait, why am I place? Why am I placing it back? It's the wrong block. There we go. Now just don't place dirt again. Don't do it. I almost did. I almost did. Oh man. Thought I'd finished. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Bam. C'est fini. I'm done. Okay. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Okay, so I'm going to stick this here. I'll make like a floor that's sort of like I've got this little landing before I go into crop. You know what I'm talking about? I go, I have a little thing right here, and then comes the trenches and everything where I could plant the seeds. Actually, I probably, I don't even need to do that. I don't need, need to do that. I'll just iron hoe it up. Stick the water bucket right there. Hidden. Do the same thing right here with another water bucket. Hydrate the soil. There you go. Sweet. Let's just put some of that in there. That's cool. You know what's even cooler? I thought that up on the spot. You know what I didn't think up on the spot? I need to create an infinite water source with that water. Hold up a second. Sorry to take your water plants. Just make this real quick. Quick, 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 quick. Go! Okay, just... OCD's kicking in. I gotta make this perfect before I can do anything. Okay. There, that looks good. Okay, now. Bam. Bam. Turkey and ham. Finny. Awesome. Dang. Oh, no. There we go. Now I just dig that out. Oh, that. Dig that out. And I've got to get this soil hydrated. Everything's dying. Did I dig it out? Well, now I dug two out. Congrats. Okay. So now I can take the rest of that out. Uh, why not? I'll put another one right there. By the way, this is another design for an infinite water source 
you saw how I did it, you put one on each side and take only from the middle block. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could take from all the blocks. No, you cannot. Okay, just take from the middle block. And that's another way to do an infinite water source. Because everyone knows the 4x4 four four thing. So, yeah, that's how you do that one. That's pretty nifty. Okay, so let's get some of this. Plant some of these right there. Why isn't that going? No, stop. Okay, there you go. Grow. Okay. And once those grow, I'll be able to harvest them and, uh, yeah, be able to harvest them. And since this is a, uh, since it's a public thing, I've got to uh, block some of this up. Well, no, I can't. I just need to block up the entrance. Make it so that only I can get in. Now that looks too unnatural. There you go. Oh, I want to make it more fancy. Just because I'm going to have to take out two blocks now. Because I want to put something on top of this. I don't know. It just looks cool. I like the way it looks. There you go. Ooh, fancy. I like it. Yeah, now it's really fancy. No. Not sure what to do now. Because that kind of takes out the light here. You know what? This is only temporary anyway. I'm going to have to take both of these things out if I want to go down there. So, I guess I shouldn't make it this complicated in the first place. But oh well, it's already done. Won't take it down now. Looks good. Uh, so, I'm going to put all the materials back. Oh, I forgot my melon seeds. Got to plant some of those, don't I? Even though melons aren't really going to be helpful for me, I can uh, still plant them anyway. Ooh, I don't have any more space. Take out some cobblestone. Get out of here, fool. Shoo. Yeah. And stay out. Okay, let's test it out. Okay. And I could place this one back. You know, oh dude, this is perfect. I have all that fancy stuff if you can only use a block like that. Oh man, I'm so clever and smart and crap. <laughs> okay, so I guess it'll work. Which one? Probably higher. Just because people will be so close, but yet so far. It will infuriate them, yes! No, just kidding, I don't want to make you guys mad. Just what happened to be already there. Yeah, that's the right level. Okay. Let's see, uh... Let's put some more water right there. There you go. Pull that up. Put that there. Yeah, that should be good. I could always add more, uh, more of something. I could probably put a couple more uh, melon things there. Yeah. I am well on my way to having a nice farm. Hmm. Makes me happy. Maybe in the next episode I could build 
a sort of farmhouse, uh, barn sort of place where I sell my yields, like, uh, like, uh, wheat, or bread, or maybe even sell the carrots, or, uh, seeds themselves. I've been wanting to put something right here, and maybe I could put a mini windmill. Yeah. Just like my old plot. So, I guess that ends today's episode. Leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my videos. And, uh, so yeah, that's the end of this one. I'll see you guys next time.